we're back with our next read aloud video. Our final read aloud video, I'm hoping. So we left on us on page 96. And we are going to start back on page 96. In 1967, a poet, an artist, and a scientist came together to create Save the Wreath. The campaign leaders, Judith Wright, John Buss, and Len Webb, wanted to raise awareness of what was happening. They wanted to stop companies from drilling oil there. They hoped to make Australians feel like the Great Barrier Reef belonged to all of them, and that they were responsible for its well-being. <clears throat> the governor of, its, of the state of Queensland, Queensland called them nitwits and rat bags. He hired his own scientists to do study. The scientists said that the reef should be drilled for oil. He also suggested that the coral be mined for its limestone. And it could be ground up to make fertilizer and cement. Then in 16 or er, 1969, a disaster occurred far away. An oil ridge off the <coughs> Carolina coast sprang a huge leak. Video footage of dead fish, oil covered seabirds, and black beaches flashed across Australian TV screens. The governor still insisted that this would never happen in the Great Barrier Reef. Another government official suggested that since the oil was protein, it would be nutritious for the fish and the other marine life. And Australians did not believe them. Finally, the government listened to the concerned Australian citizens. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine at Park Act became law. It protected the reef from mining and drilling. Say of the reef had won. <coughs> I hope that's not my thumbnail. Save the Reef had won. A national park was established. Along with it, many rules were made for visiting the park. For example, there were limits on how close the boats could get to, the, to a whale or a dolphin. The new law also divided the reef into different zones. In some zones, fishing and shipping were allowed, but in others, they were not. The law aimed to protect the reef for generations to come. The aborigines and Torres Strait Islanders are allowed to continue their hunting traditions to this day. However, the number of sea turtles and dungos they can kill is limited. In 1981, the Great Barrier Reef was named a World Heritage Site by the United Nations. This protected it even more from drilling and harmful human activities. Only places of outstanding Universal value to humankind are given this honor. For example, the Great Wall of China, 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 sorry, that was, that was weird. China and the Grand Canyon are also world heritage sites. However, the Great Barrier Reef still faces many dangers. Coal plants are still being built on mainland, on the mainland to send this coal to other parts of the world. Australian seaports are being being made bigger. This involves dredging or digging out sand from soil from the seabed. And digging means more sediment gets dumped into the Great Barrier Reef. More ships traveled through the reef has resulted in more accidents. In 2010, a cargo ship full of coal crashed in the coral reef at full speed. It left a scar along the reef nearly two miles long. The boat almost fell apart. Four tons of fuel leaked into the water. Perhaps the greatest danger the greatest reefs face is climate change. Around the world, temperatures are rising. Most corals cannot survive for long in water that is warmer than 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Above this temperature, the algae inside the pulps produce too much oxygen. When this happens, the pulps expel the algae, driving out their little food factories. <clears throat> algae are what give the coral its color. Once the coral pushes the algae out, the coral turns ghostly white. This process is called coral bleaching. 
Coral can survive a few weeks after bleaching, but without algae to produce its food, it will die. The years 2014 and 2015 were the hottest on record. By the early 2016, coral bleaching was occurring across the globe. The Great Barrier Reef suffered the most. Scientists look at more than 500 reefs in the reefs in northern areas. They just found four, just four reefs without any bleaching. Another danger the reefs facing is from chemical changes in ocean water. As the world continues to burn fossil fuels like coal and oil, more and more carbon dioxide is pumped into the air. Much of this carbon dioxide is absorbed by the oceans, <clears throat> turning the water acid. 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 Nice. I don't know. Water breaks down corals, and too much carbon dioxide in the water means the corals can't grow their carbon skeletons and enlarge the reef. Scientists worry that it, as the early two, as the as early as 2050. The coral reefs around the world might start to dissolve. As world temperatures rise, hurricanes are becoming stronger and more numerous. These hurricanes bring strong winds and powerful waves that break apart reefs, killing the coral. Two powerful hurricanes struck Queensland and the Great Barrier Reef in 2011 and 2014. With wind gusts over 150 miles per hour, they were the strongest hurricanes to hit the area in the, in almost 100 years. More are sure to come. Warmer temperatures are also melting the world's glaciers and ice caps. Sea levels are rising. Sea turtle eggs on the Great Barrier Reef's tiny islands are in danger of being drowned. In the last 30 years, half the coral on the Great Barrier Reef has died. The fight that began in the 1960s to save the reef is far from over. To, pre to preserve this magnificent and beautiful natural wonder, everyone must do their part. As the poet Julius Wright once said of the Great Barrier Reef, we have its fate in our hands. So guys, that is the end of our book. So comment down below what book you want me to read next for you guys. Um, I was thinking of doing maybe an I Survived, unless it's too scary for you guys. Um, there is like I Survived Hurricane Katrina or um, the Burning Fire. <laughs> but yes, I was thinking of doing a I Survived book if you guys are okay with that. If you are okay with me reading a... I survive book or a either, even another where is who is what is when is or when was um book then comment down below yes 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 okay that was weird but if you want me to read one of those comment down below yes please read those books and comment down below which one you want me to read and so I'll see you guys again next week or whenever I post next. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget that. And turn on the notification bell. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.